sort of materialize once they did? Uh, it was the start of the shopping period. Um, I think that was Thursday. Um, we had uh, him on on our list, and uh, we spoke to his agent, and it was at that point where there was some interest. And uh, it, there's a little bit of recruitment in that in that period, so there's there was dialogue, and then um, and then we found out today. Um, he's a really versatile D, uh, very strong. Um, you know, he can he can play like he, he can play in our top pair, if if need be. Um, uh, you'd like to spread it out a bit so he can be in the, the kind of the linchpin in the in the second pair. Um, he plays both sides. Um, played most of the year last year on the left, but when he was traded, he went to his right. Uh, very versatile. He plays on first power play, second power play. Probably naturally a second power play guy, but he's he's he can he can complement a first power play. Um, so a lot of options with him. Peter, you you have do you have a feel like do you know when you're where now that you have this sort of courting period? Do you have a feel or a sense like you, you know you know where you're going with the guy? Or you... Um, you have a better sense than what you had before. I I, I like actually like it. Um, it, it gives you, as I said, a little bit of time to recruit and uh, a little bit of time, uh, kind of an initial sorting out. Um, so you get a little better feeling, but still, it, I wasn't, I wasn't entirely certain. And uh, and um, so you, you, you know, you, you like to build build stuff up to the uh, to the, the signing period, and then you hope for the best. With everything, with in both cases, talking to these guys. Well, um, y yeah, I, I guess so. I don't know what to relate it to. <laughs> um, like these are you know players that you work. It's, in my time here, we we get this, this the staff together and you you compile lists and 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 then you th you look at those lists and see where they the guys fit and and then you go and you go out and you speak to these guys in the shopping period and and we were fortunate to. Uh, to get some things done at the draft, so it, it took a little bit of the urgency away from it. And uh, um, you know, now we have we have 90. I've seen some of the reports, and I'd rather have 90 than 5D. Um, and uh, so you know, that that creates competition. And and um, uh, I'm all for competition. Can you just give us a, a general comment about what you've been able to accomplish in the last four or five days between the guys you added at the draft. Guys who today, I mean, you got your goal, you got more defensemen, you know, guys with some more experience through your, you know, your third and fourth line. Just overall, did you think you'd be able to get this much done? Well, you know, it's always a feel-good time around the draft and, and free agency when you, when you draft people and you sign people. Just so generally speaking, you always feel optimistic. So there's a general optimism that I feel. Uh, we had a checklist and we went down it uh, and... Normally you don't hit on all the things, and we didn't hit on all of them. Um, but we, were, we 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 got a lot of the pieces that we wanted. Uh, you know, the, you you guys followed us closely with the goalie stuff. Uh, there were some good goalies out there. We got a good goalie, um, and we felt we got uh, some good pieces uh, um, in addition to the goalie. And then today was today was a bonus. But you know what? We go into it expecting to get something, and if you don't, you're disappointed. But if you don't, you move on. And but we we succeeded in getting the the players that we wanted. Well, you know there was there was there was a risk because there's there's you know there's we wanted we want what we wanted was a right shot center, okay, who was good on faceoffs. Look, the, kind of that was the general premise behind it. And and uh, uh, you know it's another tool that your your coach has. Uh, you put a right shot, left shot, center on important draws. Um, um, well, there was some familiarity with with uh, with Mark, um, and really that was the driving force behind it. And I have I have uh, time for Korpakoski. I always have. Uh, I know he has underperformed, but it gives us a it gives us a. You know, a winger with speed and some size, and, and he can close and close on pucks. So, it kind of killed two birds with one stone. Uh, Phoenix was looking, Arizona was looking for 
uh, centerman, and they, they're, they're familiar with, with Boyd. Oh, yeah. There, there was more around the draft, and I think I, you know, I think at that point I, 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 I cut, cut them off. Um, I have to be, you know, I, this is we've, we've got some pieces. We, we, we've, we've put together something that we, we think is a, is, is, is a shows progression and has pieces of players that we like. And it's, it's, you know, it's easy to look at the board and. And say, this, put this guy. This, you know, it's it's hard when they all come together and they have to play together. And so there's going to be, you know, it's great today. I, we all feel good, and it's good to feel good. And uh, we haven't dropped a puck yet. And and uh, uh, the chemistry, I think, what, what I'm getting to in a in kind of a roundabout way is important. And uh, that stuff has to be developed. What I can tell you, though, from from uh, the two uh, people we added today, a tremendous character, both of them, a tremendous character, and. Uh, um, so that, that that goes. It makes you feel better about um, you know giving them these contracts, and and when you know that their character is is very good. Six. No, you don't. You can carry eight. You can carry nine if you want. Uh, you know what? Again, competition. I, I you know there's there's. I, I don't know what the answer is. We, you can get, you know, it depends on what happens here in the next little bit. It depends on on uh, some other things, and, and it, maybe it, it ends up in camp. Are you, are you happy going into the season with this roster, or do you still think yes? I would say I'm pretty happy with this roster. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm. I guess you can never be satisfied, but um, you know, we set out to do some things. We did a lot of them, and. Uh, and so, I, what I what I see it as the first step. We've, we've I think we've done okay. Today, today is the uh, is Connor's first day on ice as an Oiler. I, I know there's going to be lots of fan here that goes everywhere he goes. How do you, as an organization, try and keep things sort of normal for him, or is that a priority for you to just try and keep things normal? It is, it is a priority, and 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 maybe you know I've just again you've heard me temper expectations. I'll continue to do that and. I guess not talk about it a lot, but uh, you know this is his first day. It's probably a big day for him, and um, tomorrow will be a bigger day. There'll be more people watching, and so on and so forth.